this is just a very quick overview of the uh, food diary stroke planner I'll probably refer to it as planner most of the time um, that I've just designed and a few of you have started um, to request orders from me please just bear in mind that this is a very first sample that I made for myself so yes I cut it slightly off center and this that, and the other I've decorated it because I've nearly sold it several times at classes um, so really quick overview right the, the inside cover is um, for you to put things that you like about yourself I put things like I'm easy going I'm generous I do like my eyelashes that's about the only physical thing I do like about myself life goals um, what you want to, do, to achieve fit on an aeroplane seat without the extension belt or go on a theme park ride or get in a certain pair of trousers or whatever it is mine is to wear the clothes in my wardrobe that no longer fit me there's a page for your weigh-in results or several for me and then you get to the actual diary part of it I'll go to a clean sheet um, so it's a double page over one week this is a, a removable shopping list that's laminated so you can write shopping list and wipe off we'll come to that again in a minute but it does remove simply by pulling it towards you like that so I purposely not put the days of the week on the top of each day because you would start it on your weigh day so I weigh on a Thursday so my week starts on a Thursday if you weigh on a Tuesday night you'd probably start it on a Wednesday um, so the top section is for free foods, your lean meats, your fruits, your veg, your pastas, your potatoes. Okay, the next section is your allowances. So fibre and calcium. I do write, if I have say cheese on toast, I write two times bread or two times toast and cheese. But I will do a little tick down there just to make sure that at a glance I can see that I've had it. So I'm not trying to kid myself that I've not had it and I'll have it again. Um, section for your calories, whether that's wine or beer or... Um, chocolate, gravy, ketchup, mayonnaise, whatever it might be. So write your calories in there. A little section for hydration to keep a tally of how much you're drinking during the day. Just as a side note, anything that's caffeinated or got alcohol in does not count towards your hydration um, because they actually dehydrate you. So one portion or one glass is eight ounces which is I think it's 230 ml something like that but I class it as 250 ml so one 500 ml bottle is two two glasses so you can either colour in the little dot or I put a little strike through just to keep a track so you've got seven days for that at the end you've got the this week and you can do your meal plan for the week and from this meal plan you can then go and do your shopping list exercise only little box because but there is, there is a day, uh, your exercise box, there's a line for each day, whether it's walking, running, swimming, um, armchair aerobics, uh, I wear a Fitbit so I, I log my steps per day in there. Another little section where you can weigh in results and how are you feeling about that? Do you deserve it? Are you happy? Are you disappointed? Um, it, I like to look back and think, how did I feel that week when I had that great loss? Yes, it felt great. I'm going to go and try and do that again when you're having a, a day that's not so good. Okay, so that's the main layout of the uh, diary or the planner. Here's your shopping list. It's punched in the same way, but it's got little nicks in so you can pop it in the coil. So you just literally lay it on the top and push your fingers either side of each comb and you'll hear it clicking in like that and that acts as your bookmark for the week so you would write your shopping list um, I won't write a, re a real one fruit um, beef water if you buy your water okay and that needs to be done in a permanent marker pen. This one is for CDs and DVDs and it's a fine point because I have tried a more, this is the normal sort of sharpie type pen, permanent marker, which is also fine. It says fine point but actually comparatively it's really thick and you can't you can't write very easily in that. I am getting some of these ordered in so if you want one do let me know. So 
don't be tempted to use dry white markers because although they work on here, as soon as you close your book, it smudges all over your page. So use a permanent marker, fibre tip, don't use a, a biro or anything like that because you'll just gouge lines and grooves into your shopping list and it'll be pretty useless. So use a permanent marker and then when you've been shopping, get some alcohol. Now don't be tempted to use vodka or Bacardi or anything like that because it doesn't work. Because I tried it. You need this alcohol stuff. You can get it all over the place. You can get it in Mercadona. You can get it in the Chino. Um, I think the pharmacies do it as well because it is an antiseptic for the skin. Sanitation. Um, it's less than a euro for a big bottle like that and I use it for all sorts of things. So literally squirt a bit on some kitchen roll or cotton wool and wipe it off. And then you're ready to start your meal planning and your shopping list for the next week. I hope that's uh, cleared some issues up for you and I'll see you soon in class. Happy slimming!